What is HAZMAT? The purpose of Transportation of Dangerous Goods Act and regulations is to promote public safety when dangerous goods are being handled, offered for transport, or transported by road, rail, air, or water. Transportation of dangerous goods also establishes safety requirements. Why is it important? Hazardous materials training is crucial for the health and safety of workers, workplaces, properties, and the environment. It is important to know the risk associated with transporting dangerous goods and be able to identify different types of hazards. Nine classes of hazardous materials. There are nine classes of hazardous materials. Of the nine, five are further categorized into divisions. Divisions provide extra information about a material's hazards. Be informed of the different divisions and know what can be transported together. For example, 20 pounds of division 2.3 gas should never be loaded with 1,001 pounds of flammable gas. Shipping papers. A bill of lading is a receipt for shipper's goods and a contract between shipper and carrier. This document must accompany the shipped goods and be signed by an authorized representative. The shipper's name, address, UN number, class, packing group, and emergency number should always be listed on the bill of lading. Another important document to have on you is a copy of the HAZMAT table. You should always be informed on what you are transporting and be prepared to answer any questions from the first responders in case of emergency. The shipping papers should always be kept in the pouch of the driver's door or in clear view within immediate reach. Be sure to check that the hazardous material ID number on the shipping papers and the ID number on the product packaging are matching. The paper should also include hazardous material shipping name, hazard class, and total quantity of product by weight or volume. It is the shipper's responsibility to provide the shipping papers to the driver and everyone else who is involved. As a driver, it is your responsibility to ensure that the materials being transported have been properly marked, labeled, and matches the shipping papers. Ensure that the trailer placards also match the shipping papers. One area you should pay particular attention to is the emergency response information requirements. Number one, basic description of the hazardous materials. Number two, immediate health hazards. Number three, fire or explosive risks. Number four, immediate precautions. Number five, how to handle fire, spill, or leak. Number six, preliminary first aid measures. And number seven, emergency response phone numbers. Any commercial vehicle used to transport hazardous materials in a quantity that requires placards must be equipped with a C-Class fire extinguisher and should be kept in the cabin. In the event that the packaging has been compromised or the contents have been spilled, you must respond by calling the emergency phone number listed on the bill of lading. Let's go through the hazmat checklist provided to you before delivering every hazmat load. Before you begin your journey, make sure you have your dangerous goods card and that it is valid and ready to be presented if need be. A copy of the hazmat book should be in your truck for every hazmat delivery. Placards are mandatory for any load that is more than 1,001 pounds. Each driver is required to have at least four placards for each type of hazmat. In order to decide which placards you need, you must know the packing group numbers, amount being shipped, and amount of hazmat of all classes on your vehicle. When placing the placards on your trailer, make sure they are facing upwards and placed front and back on all four sides of the trailer. Ensure that all paperwork has an emergency phone number on every page. When securing the hazmat load, be sure that all straps or load bars are properly secured. Be sure to inspect your tires every two hours or every hundred miles when transporting dangerous goods. When arriving to the shipper, be sure to leave the paperwork in the document holder when you unhook from the trailer. Hazmat paperwork must be the first paperwork presented to the officers or at scales for inspection. You must always know what is in the trailer and be ready to answer any questions from a custom officer or inspector. Once the delivery has been made, remove all placards from the trailer before you leave the customer's dock. If a trailer is empty, there must not be any placards on it. Finally, be sure to remember that any food or drink products are strictly forbidden on a trailer with hazmat and no crossing at the Detroit Bridge ever.